Greetings, friends. It has been a fun weekend. Today, oh my goodness, it has been a very interesting time. A um, few more days till my birthday, which is amazing. I can't wait. We're not really going to do anything. I think we're just going to kind of Netflix and chill because that's just what sounds like fun today. <laughs> or um, for that. I, we've both been working really long hours doing so many things that I think that that's what would be appropriate for her birthday, but we'll see. So, I am here today with, oh my goodness, the drum roll, the anti-anxiety workbook. We are on part nine, and this is actually our final part, which is amazing. We have almost been, we will have finished one book, um, yeah, which will be awesome, I think. Hold on. be the uh, last uh, portion of of the anti-worrying um, workbook. So I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, any new people, you can actually go to Manic Monday or Anti-Anxiety um, and you can see the whole series that is on my YouTube account um, and the website. Um, once we are finished with the anti-anxiety workbook, we will be moving on to more. So before we get into that and show and tell what we have going on here, we're going to do one dab because we haven't done one yet. And because I just charged the um, nails, so hopefully, I haven't checked to see if it's full yet, but we will get there. Um, so as always guys, fuck cancer, fuck anxiety, fuck depression, in with the good and out with the bad. tastes amazing. I, I do. I do enjoy my smoke time very, very much. So, um, next Monday, we will actually start a new book, um, which is Self Love Workbook for Women. Um, release Self Doubt, Build Self Compassion, and Embrace Who You Are by Morgan or Megan Wogan, MSWLCSW. So, I decided to pick a new book to go on, and this just seemed like it was a really good thing to kind of complement the anti-anxiety and the anti-worry, especially if you're anything like me and you have a very horrible um, opinion of yourself, I guess is really how it is. Um, you know, I, I'm not that great looking, I am, I'm not that well versed, I do know a lot about uh, psychology and sociology. Um, at least enough to get me in trouble, and that's why we um, have been doing these. I've been reading straight from the book, that way I'm giving you the exact information that I am getting. So, let me show you a little bit what we have going on here. Um, as you guys know, I have, we'll go here first, started my big calendar, and that's pretty much all that's in here. This is for the month of August, which I love. You get one big um, area that you can put all your appointments and everything in there. Or birthdays, because I suck at birthdays. I really do, especially now that I'm really not doing much with Facebook. Um, I have written in my, in my book to tell my brother happy birthday. Um, and it was Saturday, this last Saturday, and I feel so horrible. I'm like, okay, I'm a total asshole. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, brother. I love you. And hopefully he's not too mad at me, but I did. I actually forgot his birthday, even though I sat there and thought, okay, it's the 13th because we were at the grandbaby's birthday, and um, I know that I should have called him. I, I thought about it a couple times, but I left my phone at home, which is really odd, but it happens. It's been happening more and more lately. Um, I seem to really like leaving that phone behind, which is probably a good thing. Okay, so on this, I do my little tour list for the week, whatever it is I'm, I'm wanting to make sure it gets done. 
So this week it was laundry, sweep and vacuum, floors and cabinets, garage, bedroom, dust, mop and bedroom, flush, trailer, kitchen and dining room. Um, and so that's kind of how we're going here. Well, I decided there are a few things that I need to keep track of on a daily basis. And the few things are how much food I'm intaking, how I'm feeling if I'm taking my meds, um, exercise that I'm getting, video, if I made a video like I am today. So on that one, we can actually put, um, yes, we did. And then I will name it when we are done. Um, did you groom today? Yes. Um, how much water are you drinking? Uh, comments, Journ journal, did I write my journal? Did I not in my journal? What happened? Did I take a nap? Um, am I working on my calendar the way that I need to? Um, how much coffee am I taking? Because I have really gotten into the whole coffee thing and I need to quit. Um, and then my sleep. And then today I decided I was going to try something new. Um, I decided I was going to find out um, if losing weight can be as easy as the hack on TikTok. Um, the hack is basically that you drink a half a lemon in a, in a put a half a lemon in a cup, put a half a teaspoon of coffee in that cup, pour hot water over it, drink that, um, and you should see a difference within 10 days. So I decided to try that and see what we do. So in 10 days, I will let you know how that goes. So, and then we have our, um, our uh, guided journal that tells you, you know, that kind of gives you an area to write in and it kind of promotes what you're gonna say. Um, this one is uh, Disney, even though I really don't support Disney all that much anymore because of some of the things that have come out. Um, but it was the nicest ones they had, and I liked them, and they were cute. So, um, and they were on sale. I guess I could have started with that. They were like, um, this one was like 50% off, and I, or no, the calendar was 50% off, and I got this one for free. So, <laughs> that's how it works. So, I have been working on this. Um, this was my first day's worth of notes that I was taking on how things went. Um, today is the second day, which I haven't, you just kind of write in it as your day goes. So it's kind of cool, it keeps me track of what it is that I am specifically doing and trying to get done. Alright, now that's done. Um, guys, don't forget about Arizona Desert Diamonds. That is the ring or the um, jewelry field company that I have started. If it is something you are interested in, please let me know. If you're looking to buy any of the jewelry, please let me know. Um, every piece on my hands, I believe, yeah. Every piece on my hands, um, the maximum price that I, I believe I spent was $30, and that's with shipping and tax. Um, for each one of these rings, they have genuine stones. Um, they have birthday stones, which are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they are $19.95. Um, and the price for them, oh, and then you have shipping and handling, but they guarantee a, a surprise worth anywhere from 70 to $1,200 if it has real diamonds in it. I have not revealed a real diamond. I want to. Trust me, I want to. Um, but here, just trying to give you a little look-see at what we have or what I'm doing. So it's just better kind of with this. So this is... This one is actually a double. This is a band. So you can wear them together or apart, however you're interested in wearing them. Um, this is the August birthday. This is the Peridot. Um, and then this is uh, black uh, cubic zirconia, which is gorgeous. So, yeah. And this is a genuine ruby. So yeah, all kinds of pretty. Again, a peridot, and this is, this one is kind of cool. You can actually um, kind of bend it to help fit a little bit better, which I love because I love my fun thumb rings and want to make sure that they fit well. So that is it. <laughs> if you guys are interested, please, please throw it down in the comments below. Um, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to earn the money um, for my dentures. 
I have been able to get all of the teeth pulled um, and all the infection taken out of my mouth. Um, the reason why I had to have this done is I am a four-time cancer patient. I've been through radiation, been through chemo. It just absolutely broke all of my teeth down. Um, took the enamel away. It was so bad. Um, if you are a cancer patient going into this, please, 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 please make sure you see a dentist. Make sure it doesn't matter how you feel. If you're feeling yucky, you feel like you're going to throw up. I don't know how many times that I went to go put that toothbrush in my mouth and it gagged me not even getting there. So I understand, um, but use Listerine, use all kinds of things to kind of help protect your teeth, make sure you get to a dentist um, and get those cleanings and um, fluoride or whatever that is that they put on there to, to strengthen the enamel. It is, it sucks, let me tell you. Okay, so we are gonna be working on the anti-anxiety workbook. Uh, this is the last chapter um, of this book before we start our next one. I, I'm so happy. Okay, so let's do one last stab before we get to moving on here. Try to make sure we're in the goodest, the best of moods we can get. Goodest of moods. Let me go in I'm going to have to fill this for the next one, but let's go ahead and get started. So I actually switched to using these sticky notes on here instead of the papers and clips and, and it works so much better. So if uh, you're doing stuff like this as well, these are awesome. Just so you know, just an FYI. Okay, the tornado. Anxiety is often at Often, okay, they have a spelling error or a word error, I guess, on here. They say anxiety is often an downward spiral. It's a downward spiral <laughs> or a tornado. You start to feel stressed, so you think about your worries more and more, and you don't do anything else. You think about it again and again, more and more. Oh, get out of the tornado. You're going to have to list 10 activities you like to do that makes you feel good um, when you're in the tornado get that get out by doing one of these activities to help you out here are some of my favorite activities um, and then I wrote some of my favorite activities down for you um, playing music going out for a walk doing sports doing yoga cooking watching a movie and drawing so before I give you guys my list Please know, um, I'm a weird person. I'm a very odd person. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm weird. So some of my things may be a little bit weird, but what it is. So my activities are listening to music, long walks, reading, cleaning. Yes, cleaning my entire house makes me feel really good. I love cleaning. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, baking, watching movies and vid videos, journaling, crafts, playing with my fur bees, my fur babies, and working on the website. Um, I have freemycure.org that I have been working on now for a couple of years. I've been kind of uh, uh, collecting the works that I have done in writing and stuff. And um, there are several articles on the website, not as many as you think that as I was hoping to have, um, considering I ended up in a mental health issue uh, last year, um, and, and well, the last year and a half, and kind of took that, uh, that hiatus, um, but I'm very happy to be done. So, now we have our beautiful little coloring pages. Um, be proud of yourself. Strength and wisdom. So, yeah. Lord grant me the patience to not kill my husband today. And that's pretty much how it goes anymore. I love him. I love him. I love him. I don't want to kill him. But oh my God, sometimes I'm like. So it's kind of interesting. 
I spend all day alone, most days. Uh, the weekends I don't, I have my husband. But uh, most days I spend alone. So by the time my husband gets home, I don't talk because I haven't talked all day or talked to the dogs or I don't know what to say. Um, so I'm not the talker anymore. I just kind of work on my little things, stay quiet, you know, pay attention to him, take care of him. Because that is another thing I really like to do. I like to take care of him. I like to make sure he's settled and that everything's good. Not because I have to, but because it kind of gives me that sense of, yeah, he's mine. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere because he's mine. And I don't want him to go anywhere. Okay, the anchor. NLL, NLP, creating the anchor is a pattern of response to a stimulus so that you feel what you want and when you need it. It's a very powerful tool. Here's how to do it. Uh, determine how you want to feel. For example, relaxed. Remember a specific moment when you felt really relaxed. Yeah, got it? If you need me to give you a minute, hit the pause button there if you need a few minutes. I get it. Choose an anchoring device that involves touch. For example, by touching your thumb and forefinger together or by pinching your pinky tip, it should be an easy and discreet gesture. Um, number four, close your eyes. Remember when you were so relaxed, so good, where were you? Who were you with? Remember every detail, the sound, the smell, the heat. Feel the calm of that moment. Now do your anchoring gesture and it could be something like this that just kind of gets your mind to where you're not thinking because you have to think about what your fingertips are doing. Um, some people can do this um, without thinking about it. They can still continue to do what they're doing and this as well. This is one of my, um, one of my, I gotta relax type things. I also have so many earrings because I play with them. It makes me feel better. Um, I have this twisted piece here that I'll take off and I'll play with. Um, and it's not because it's fun to play with, but because it has a saying on there that while I'm playing with it, I repeat as a mantra. And that is, keep fucking going. So, um, that's kind of what I do on that. So, just so you know. Now, do your anchoring gesture and continue to feel the happiness of that moment. Stay like this for as long as you like, always with your eyes closed. Number five, repeat this exercise every day for at least two weeks. Test it from time to time. If you start to feel anxious, do your anchoring gesture. And you can have more than one anchoring gesture, just so you know. FYI. If you feel better immediately, that's fine. If not, continue with doing this exercise every day until the anchoring works. It, it can take a while um, because you have to figure out how to turn off your brain um, and get out of your head and, and focus all of your energy on one thing. Um, I think that is one of the next books that we're gonna kind of, we're gonna do. I'm like, <laughs> we are going to be doing um, a book that's called Get Out of Your Fucking Head. Um, mostly because I, I do that, I need to get out of my fucking head. I spend an eternity there without having anybody here to really talk to. That's all I got. Um, and I don't want to sit here and watch TV all day. I don't like TV that much. Um, I, I have my, my Audible. Is that called? I think it is. Audible, my books, and I listen to those a lot. I'll listen to music and that kind of thing, but... Ah, uh, yeah. It's just it. I mean, it takes a while sometimes, so please understand. Create your anchor. Ridiculous. Every time I read that, I think of Harry Potter. Ridiculous! Um, he lifted the lid and the lights went out and an icy cold spread. A rattle was heard and a rotten hand reached out to him. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. A Borg Bogart is an 
amoral, shape-shifting, non-being that takes on the form of its observer's worst fear. Ridiculous is the charm used to defeat that bogart. It causes the creature to take a humorous form um, for the caster, removing its, abir its ability to terrorize. Excuse me. We all have bogarts, or even several. In the course of our lives, it takes on different forms and faces. Our boss or colleague, that weird guy you pass every morning on the bus, even your mo mother sometimes. A long time ago, I had a tyrannical manageress. Manageress? I was young and she really scared me. I had a few of those when I was younger, yeah. I started to imagine her as a little goblin with makeup and blonde wig, probably because the Lord of the Rings movie had just come out. Every time she had come towards me, I focused on that image. It didn't stop her from being a tyrant, but it helped me to be less afraid. Draw your bogart. You can glue a picture of a person or draw it or describe it with words and make it look ridiculous. So I am horrible with drawing, but I am pretty good with words, so that's what we did. So my bo bogart would have started as my parents as I grew older. My first ex-husband and his drugs, then came my second field marriage. He took that shape. Now it's strangers. All of these bogarts shared similar traits. Big buggy eyes on a bobble head that the more they speak, the more their head bobbles. Big red lips with lipstick oddly placed, making the lips appear larger than it was. Um, their bodies were square having two legs as rectangles, two circles of the body with a small rectangular neck and a big round head. When they speak, it sounds like the teacher on the Peanuts movie, um, and fire shoots from their lips. So that was my way of making it ridiculous. I want to know what your guys' ridiculous would be. Put it down in the comments below. Let's see how good they get. I am dying to know. Also, if you prefer to draw um, your Bogart instead of describe it, I know you can't post pictures of it. However, um, you can find me on social media. I will make sure all of my social media uh, links are in the description below. So you can, you can send me um, a DM with a picture of what you drew. Um, and I will actually show those on, on the channel because I think it's a really cool thing to do. Um, along with your screen name and any other information you want to provide. Um, yeah, let's see what we can get. Let's get some great pictures of Bogarts. I think that'd be amazing. So, Jin Shin Jiu Jitsu? Maybe? I'm not sure. J Y U T S U. Jin Shin Jiu Jitsu is a Japanese practice. To put it simply, each finger is linked to an emotion and one or more organs. To relieve emotions and relax, grasp the finger, grasp the finger with the opposite hand, wrapping all fingers and thumbs around it, as if you were holding the handlebars of your bicycle. Hold the finger firmly for one to two minutes repeat with each finger or you can also concentrate on just one finger um do the same with the other hand so we just kind of you know two minutes two minutes two minutes two minutes you can even go two minutes i mean whatever makes you more comfortable um if i do that it kind of hurts with my rings <laughs> um for general stress press your thumb into the middle of your hand for two minutes do this every day and every time you feel a negative emotion. So it's kind of cool. They gave us a picture of everything. So we have the, the middle finger. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be flipping off. Is the gallbladder and liver. Um, relief, blood circulation, headaches, eyes, and discomfort. 
index finger is for bladder or kidney, release or relieve digestion, elimination, wrists, elbows, and upper arm discomfort. The thumb is anxiety, stomach, spleen, relief, fatigue, headache, breathing, digest, and discomfort. The little finger, um, heart, small intestine, relieves nerves, cardiac rhythm. Um, ring finger, um, that one, lung and large intestine, relieve digestion, respiration troubles, ears, and discomfort. So you have anxiety, fear, anger, um, sadness, and self-esteem, and then you have your palm, and then you put it on here. But that's, oh, that's where you're grabbing. So they did. Yes, they did. Now let's show you the picture. Pause it and, and check it out if, um, I took it away too quick. <laughs> We have more coloring pages. So we have the distance between dreams and reality is called action. Who in the, uh, whoever moves a mountain starts with a small stone. Oh, fireflies. And now, question mark. Um, that's it. You've reached the end. The end? Really? Um, no, not really. You'll have to go on alone. But now you have the tools to manage your anxiety and say, shut up or shut the fuck up. Um, you've been able to become aware of your deepest fears, your goals, and most importantly, your values and qualities. You are ready. Go on with your life sincerely or serenely, and have confidence in yourself. Okay, so the next few pages are for you, free expression, note your evaluation, for example, or talk about situations in which you are able to calm your anxiety with. So I haven't done that part um, at this point yet. Um, it gives you... three and a half pages to do that in and then the leads that you're going to need for one of the activities that's in here oh that is it what do you guys think did you like this section did you like working on the anti-anxiety is there something that you would like to work on um if so throw it down i'm very interested let's see what we can find let's see what we can do because um I think we need to make the rest of the year a little bit more about mental health because that seems to be a serious <laughs> issue. Um, not only with me, but with, with so many of us. We have that problem and if you're like me when you were younger, you just kind of pushed it out of your mind the best you could, forgot about it, and went on with your life because you had kids, you had this, you had that. And as I kept getting older, I kept... Um, retreating basically to my space because out there was too difficult. I want to, I want to say it's probably um, the best explanation to that. But how are you guys doing? Did you like the chapters? What's going on? Tell me all about it. Is there something you want us to um, touch on? Because I, I want to know. So... Well, this going up with some pretty concentrate. So, this is from Nature's Medicine. This is Great Dream Shatter. I want to say that I've had this. This has been in my reserves now um, for a couple of months. So, um, I do. I have like a reserve. I have a section that I do on reviews that I want to reviews or any of those things is what I try to do 
doesn't always work. Oh, and this one is before um, we contacted um, the dispensary about the appropriate containers. So they didn't go back, they didn't do any of that. Um, this is an older pack, just so you know it. I, I don't want anybody getting hate thinking that this is how they're doing it now. They've been doing a great job of packaging. I have been super impressed. So next Monday, we will be starting our self-love workbook. What do we do with it? Oh, right there. Our self love workbook for women. Um, I can find some for men. I know that a lot of these same um, practices help men as well as women. Um, and if I see a section on there that I know I have the information for, if it's different from male to female, I will make sure to add that in there because, yeah, we want to know we're different. So, as always, Fuck cancer, fuck anxiety, fuck depression, fuck COVID. In with the good and out with the bad. Sounds like another RV is coming in. So we are actually moving into the busy season of the RV resort that we are in. Um, so this is where the horses are all going to start showing up. This is when all of the different trailers are going to start showing up. This is when my anxiety <laughs> is going to go through the roof. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to work on that. I figured we'd work on that a little bit together um, because that's you know where we're going with that and what we need to do. And I brought, I brought one of the plants, well, I brought two of the plants in that I've been working with. So, we have the prickly pear in the back, and then these two are these really big, big uh, trees with these, well, they're not really big, big trees. They're nice-sized trees that kind of come out and over, but the leaves on them are huge. So, they take a lot of water, they take direct um, they take indirect sunlight for the most part, especially when they're little. Um, this is the second one that I'm trying uh, to grow. And the first one, the minute I took this off, um, the little dome off of them, they died. So I have another glass here that I decided to put over. It's almost too big for the glass. Um, but it has done really well at this point. So I'm hoping these guys will grow all the way because they are a beautiful tree. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. And this just basically helps them st uh, stabilize their environment while they're still little. Um, because any change, really change, too much heat, not enough heat, too much light, not enough light, will kill that plant. It, it is a very, very picky plant. So I thought I'd show it to you. I don't know the name of it. However, I know that it comes off with these big, I want to say they almost look like vanilla bean pods. Um, and I took one of the pods and I've been holding on to the pod for a year and a half-ish. And I finally broke the pod open and there were probably a hundred freaking seeds in that pod. So. I kept them because I really liked the tree. And so let's see what she looks like as she gets older. Woohoo! So, again, as always, fuck cancer, fuck anxiety, fuck depression, fuck COVID. In with the good and out with the bad.
be so so down. Build so compassionate and great you are. So that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this episode. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these um, mental health shows that we're putting on here. Um, so mad love as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.